You are listening to Book Clips, a mini podcast in which authors or narrators do readings from novels. Check out the show notes for the synopsis and buy links for this book. Downing the Beard, written by E.A. Kafkalis, narrated by Caitlin Peckrell. Chapter 4 Madeline picked up Lord Guimont's porcelain figurines with care, holding them firmly enough not to break them. Her aunt had taught her to make sure the porcelain shone when she was done, a task she'd loathed before the appearance of Master Simmons. Gabrielle's tutor was a tall, thin man that reminded Madeline of the stick bugs they would find in the gardens. Even Gabrielle joked about his appearance after their first lesson. Madeline saw beneath his goofy exterior, however. He was a gentle, intelligent young man that truly cared about teaching Gabrielle. Every day he came with a new lesson, and Madeline found any excuse to clean the parlor just to hear what he had to say. She would sneak peeks over Gabrielle's shoulder to view her work, and she wondered why she could not sit with them and learn as well. She confronted her aunt when they were alone in the kitchen preparing dinner. Auntie, why can't I learn with Mistress Gabrielle? Got the idea that you're something you're not in your head now, do you? Ami chuckled. What use would you have for such nonsense? Madeline knew it wasn't nonsense, but she also gathered from the tone of Ami's voice not to argue. Then why must Mistress Gabrielle learn it? It's got to be more fun playing with Timothy and me. Proper young ladies don't have time for your games, and as for learning, she must know those things for when she marries. She will be the mistress of that house, and those things will help her. Must she marry? Of course, silly child, what else would she do? Madeline hadn't considered any of this before. She only knew her days were better when she was with Gabrielle. What'll happen to me? She may take you with her. Or we may need to find your service elsewhere. Won't be much need for you here once she's gone. That is, unless some boy turns your head and you marry as well. I just pray you'll be happy. I don't have to get married, do I? Ugh, you're being silly. Boys may not interest you now, but just you wait. They will. Madeline knew that wasn't true. She didn't like any of the options her aunt had laid out. Hopefully, there would be more as time went on. For now, she would spend as much time as she could in the parlor, looking busy, so that she could hear every word Master Simmons said. Gabrielle thought Madeline fancied her tutor. That idea disturbed her, but she couldn't decide why. Whenever Master Simmons arrived, Madeline would find a place out of the way in the parlor and busy herself with dusting and polishing. The room was beginning to shine, making the rest of the house dull by comparison. But Gabrielle knew Madeline watched them, and she appeared to hang on every word that came from Master Simmons's mouth. Gabrielle wondered what could be so appealing about the lanky giant. Madeline held out a dress for Gabrielle's approval that morning. Gabrielle looked up, She never bothered to challenge what Madeline chose, as it was always appropriate. This will be perfect, thank you. Madeline laid the dress on the bed. Gabrielle watched her unbutton the delicate buttons. Do you not think Master Simmons is quite handsome? Madeline chuckled. Not at all. Why do you ask? No reason. Madeline set the dress down. Do you like him? He's a very good tutor. Not that I have anything to compare with. But do you think about him in other ways? What other ways would there be? As a prospect for marriage, perhaps. Marriage? Gabrielle shrieked. Have you lost your senses? Well, you asked if I found him attractive. Because you're always in the room when he comes to see me, Gabrielle shouted. I didn't realize you'd be so bothered. Madeline busied herself again with the buttons, keeping her head down. I'll go somewhere else when he comes, she choked. Are you going to cry? No. Madeline sniffed and wiped her eyes on her sleeve. Why are you so upset? Why are you so angry? Gabrielle made sure to speak gently this time. I was just trying to understand why you were always in the room. I wish to hear what he has to say. You find the subjects he discusses interesting? Do you not? I confess I have not given it much thought. 
I think about the things he says the rest of the day. And the stories he leads you? I wish I could see the books he uses. Well, I will show you the books. I like that. Gabrielle sat beside Madeline on the bed. I did not mean to make you cry, Maddie. She put her arms around Madeline. You know you are my dearest friend. And you mine. Gabrielle felt Madeline relax in her arms. So, when you are helping me prepare for bed, we can talk about what I learned that day. I can lend you the books, too. But Auntie says I do not need to learn. Then it will be our secret. Gabrielle kissed her friend's cheek. Okay? Our secret, Madeline agreed. You have been listening to Donning the Beard. Written by E.A. Kafkalis, narrated by Caitlin Peckrell. You have been listening to Book Clips. Check out the show notes for the synopsis and buy links for this book. If you are interested in showcasing your novel, then check out the show notes for more information. <laughs>